Give me those things. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. It's great to yes. have you on board. It's another time with Tutor I.O., the Enterprise Tutor. And in today's tutorial, it happens to be one of our very first class we have been on the course EDA H33. All right. And with me today, I have Mrs. Deborah. Uh, I think Deborah was to have gone through some of our classes. Basically, just one class we had the day before day on YouTube. And here we had today having our Telegram discourse on the particular course. So she'll be walking us through what she was able to get in the YouTube class we had just the day before yesterday. So, uh, Miss Ruth, you have uh, Mrs. Deborah, I mean, you have the floor, ma'am. Um, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. My good mentor. Um, good evening. I... Good evening, sir. Oh, well done, sir. Um, yes, though sir. I don't have the materials yet, but uh, from what you taught us last, sorry, what you taught me last, I think I'm able to get the simplest definition of uh, monitoring and uh, evaluation in the educational system. Wonderful. Whereby, yeah, where I was taught um, about monitoring in a simple term is the checking and watching on something. Whereby mm, a person, yes, watching and checking on something, whereby a person is to be administering the, 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 the performance of the other person. Okay, okay. Yes. At the same That's time... That's for monitoring. Yes, for monitoring. Monitoring can be um, another way of um, divine monitoring is a uh, giving of advice or instruction by a way of a uh, performance or caution given to someone. Yes, caution to reprove yes. or caution. Or yes, caution. wonderful. Yes, yes. So I got another one too without looking at my notes that uh, is a collecting of information at a regular interval about ongoing projects in an educational system exactly yes yes i think that is that is more that is attached to the educational past of our discussion the right discussion. And don't forget that this course is all about all right improving and making educational system better all right better. and the essence of yeah. monetary basically yes. is not to which point the essence of monitoring is not to be destructive, all right, but it's, it's, it's to get as much as possible the information that can be gotten or extracted. And after gotten this information, all right, certain loopholes are to be, all right, to be addressed, all right. As, the, as a result of this information gotten, it's expected to serve as a precaution. Okay. It's expected to serve as a precaution of any error or fault that might happen. We call them potential errors or defaults. But in as much as this monitoring is effective and consistent, it's helped to guide against that. So okay. we also talked about the fact that this works hand in hand in evaluation. What do you evaluation. have on evaluation? Um, evaluation that I have here is referred to as a determination of values of a thing. To determine value of a thing. Or mm. if uh, okay. yes, or quality of a program when it's um we want to relate it to education. So we have it as quality of a program with intention to measure the impact or impulse the quality of a program. Awesome. Now that we know the meaning of monitoring and evaluation, so why or how does this two work hand in hand? Why are they easily or why are we placing them side by side? Why do we use them alongside? Can you explain that? And please, ma'am, you know, I said something in our very first class. I said, this is your level. You have to get the concept behind everything. Questions okay, can be twisted. All right? Okay, like, what, one thing I always tell students that I come in contact with, you should, you should always prepare for the worst. Hmm. Don't study for the fact, don't study because you are expecting to see questions like the, the fine evaluation, the fine monitoring in the exam. 
I bet you the chances that you might see questions presented that way is zero percent. You should bear in mind that this question will be twisted. This question will be turned upside right. So it is in your place to first figure out what this question is requesting, what this question requires of me before you begin to give answers. So you need to prepare for the worst. And how can you prepare for the worst? Everything, you don't have to cram everything in your material. Everything you come across in this material, bear in mind the concept behind it. Okay. When we say monitoring, why do we have to monitor in the educational system? When we say evaluation, why do we have to evaluate projects in the educational system? Huh. Okay, you cannot tie this up with the definition of monitoring. You cannot tie it up with the definition of evaluation. And from there, you begin to see reasons. You begin to write. You begin to collect extra sheets. Why? Because you are not doing la cram la pop. Huh. That's it, man. So from your own input, would you please explain to us very quickly before we go into tonight's class, why is it that monitoring and evaluation works hand in hand? Now, well, related to a project or a system. Okay. Um, for accountability purpose. Okay. Not bad. But I'd like you to put it in, um, in a discussion form. Just stated it like that. <laughs> you are not doing pen. You are not doing a CBT. You are doing pen of CBT, paper, and I'm you definitely collect extra sheets. Maybe I will study it again in the next class. Okay, it's fine. But um, you've given me definition of monitoring. You've also given me definition of evaluation. So why not let's let's see it like this? When we say evaluation and monitoring, why do they work hand in hand? Before you talk about before you talk about evaluation. There is need for you to monitor. Huh. Now, let's compare this to science. Science is science. Science is different from art because when we talk about science, there are a series of processes involved. Okay. Science is systematic. You cannot just jump to a conclusion. You must be able to prove that as a result of A, I was able to get C. So when I added A and C together, I was able to get D. That's science, objectivity. So before you talk about evaluation, you must have the basic knowledge, all right? You must have an unbiased understanding about what you intend to evaluate. And you can only get this knowledge, you can only get this unbiased understanding or basic understanding about the concept or the system of the project you want to evaluate if you have done what? Monitoring. Okay. You know, you said something about collecting of information. Why do you collect information? Or how do you collect information? You collect this information because you are paying attention to, to a, a particular thing. In science, we call it observation. From observation, you get to lay your hand on series or certain points or pointers. So monitoring and evaluation works hand in hand because before you talk about evaluation, you need to do some certain monitoring. All right? Monitoring in the sense that gather certain points, collect information. Then you gather this information and this information will be the foundation upon which evaluation is built. Yes. I don't know if you get that, ma'am. Yes, yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So you can imagine if you can if this question comes up like this in the exam, if you put it down like this, I'm I'm pretty sure you you will collect extra sheets. Mm -hmm. This is this is my own input. All right. I'm just using this to explain to you. Definitely yes. you cannot put it down the same way I've said it, but from what I've been able to explain to you, you can at least put one or two things together and talk in line. With what we have in the material. Are we on the same page, ma'am? Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So um we talked about, I think we talked about functions of evaluation, right? Do you have anything on that? Yes, importance of evaluation. Okay. 
I was yes. actually referring to the functions anyway. Do you have anything on functions? No, nothing on function here. Yeah. We have uh, the nature and importance of monitoring. Okay, what do you have on that, ma? So, in the every project that's under nature and importance, every project yes, has a structure. So, monitoring is do or well, what monitoring is doing is to be sure of the structure in education. Then, number two, uh, proper description of projects, at least average understanding of a program. That is enable exactly. us. It enable us to have a description of projects, at least average understanding of the uh, a program ahead of us. Exactly. About... Now you get what I was saying the other time. Uh, sorry for interrupting. You get what I was saying yes, that before you can have that evaluation effectively, you need monitoring. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. Wonderful. Wonderful. Exactly. Wonderful. So now we have functions of evaluation. It right, says sorry. here, it is through evaluation that we learn to what extent the goals of education are, all right, that are to be achieved. Now let's put it this way. One of the functions oh. of evaluation is that evaluation enables... I'm busy, please. Is it the network, sir? Can you hear me, ma? I was actually yes. waiting for you to, sorry, to get set to because I noticed position. where I have to change my position. Okay. Sorry, it's okay, ma. Yes, I'm okay now. Through evaluation, okay. you said we learned, yeah, the function. Okay, yes. So there are basically there are four main functions of evaluations. There are four of them. Okay, sir. So the very first one is is diagnosis. Okay. Okay, sir. Now when, when we say diagnosis, what, what are we talking about? We are simply talking about making your findings to know what the problem is, all right? Yes. When you go to the hospital, and hear, when somebody is not feeling fine and the person has been to the hospital, you, the question you'll be asking the person is, what, is what, what are you diagnosed of, all right? Oh. Meaning that the illness, what is the illness? Is it malaria? Is it typhoid, all right? So when we say one of the functions of evaluation as diagnosis is that evaluation enables us to know the weakness Okay, the weakness, the loop O in a system. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, it sir. enables us to know weakness, the loopholes, the defects, all right, need okay. for improvement in a system, project, all right, or a program. It also enables us to predict. One of the functions again is also prediction. Predict. Yes. Okay, sir. Prediction. All right. With, with evaluation, we can, all right, run tests. Okay. Hmm. Test in the sense that we get to know, all right, since we already have the diagnosis, all right, we hmm. can now say, based on this diagnosis, more like information of what the problem is, then we can take informed decision based okay. on the information we have. So we can begin to say, okay, by the time we do this, we do that, okay. we add A plus B, then we can achieve this. Okay. All right. So we also have yes. selection and grading. Okay, now, sir. the way this is structured in the material, all right, the material is particular about evaluation of a student performance or evaluating a student. All right, that's how the, the material puts it, but I am speaking more on a general term. All right, okay, the, student could be the, the student could be the, um, the subject, it the could subject. be a project, or it could be a system. But I'm just speaking based on the general term. So it could be introduced, it could be the question could come in form of the students, come from the system or a program. 
But the okay. four main functions we have here are diagnosis, prediction, selection, prediction. and grading. Okay. Okay. okay sir. Yes, sir. So we have that of that. Okay. So very quickly, we also have the evaluation techniques here. There are some techniques. So we are niching this down. We are niching this down to the educational system. System. Evaluation techniques. We are niching okay. this down the educational system. Now we have the likes of interviews okay peer evaluation okay discussion groups discussion group groups okay sir now on that interview it says it may be structured or unstructured. Now, when we say structured or unstructured, you know, it's just like we are saying open-ended and close-ended. Close-ended. We we'll talk about question here. All right. So now, when we say structured interviews, we are simply referring to a set. All right, of list of questions. Okay. Okay. Right, but your structured now is more like no set plans. It's more like you know for questions now for list of questions. It will be like number one, what is this? Number two, what is that? Number three, this and this. But for the unstructured, whereby there are no lists, it's more like word of mouth. Oh. It's more like a conversation. It's more like a discourse. Okay. And with this, based on the performance, you can mm. tell this is where we need to improve on. This is what we need to improve on. Okay. Okay. Um, we also have peer groups. It says here, peer groups in schools can be used to obtain information which can contribute to our school you know when we say peer, we're talking about oh. more like two persons or more, all right? Peer groups, meaning that you are bringing two different groups, all right? We are getting information from certain groups, oh. all right? And this information, based on these groups, have its members, and the members have, all right, similar or something in common, similar okay. interest or have common interest. That's why they're in that group. So information can be also useful from these peer groups to make okay. certain decisions. Okay. So we have um, that is that. All right. It's uh, it's actually a lot here and it's um, it's um, I'm pretty my, my on this. Ma? I said, I'm going to print my materials on 833 on Monday. Only 833 I'm left out with. Oh, you don't want to do the soft copy? The soft copy is on my phone. I prefer yeah. it. Uh, oh, all right. All right. I'm not a fan of the hard copy anyway. <laughs> so that when I'm reading, I will be underlining it. Oh, you can do that on your computer as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's nine thirty already. Yes, sir. It's, it's actually ex it's it's planned. It's actually expected. It's a very short class. All right. I don't intend to make it a long one. So um, for our next class, we are going to have a planning program. All right, of evaluation. All right, we're going to take it off from planning, a program of evaluation. So what does it take to plan a program? Of evaluation, uh, I think with three more classes we done with this course, and then we can move to the next one. So hopefully by next week we should call it wrap of this course. So um, please do well to keep your notes up to date, man, and um, ensure to submit them to the 
Friday class. Okay. Do have a wonderful Thank evening. I should submit my notes. My notes. Yes, please. Yes, oh, please. Okay. You need to take use your phone. Like what you see others doing in the private class. You see others, oh. others submitting their notes. Okay. You use your phone. Take a picture of your notes and send it to the private class as a proof of that okay. uh, you, are, you are following the classes. Ah, thank you, sir. Do you have any questions or contributions, ma'am? Before we call you up this night. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, sir. I understand everything. I understand everything, sir. Very um, well, then. Yes, sir. I understand. Thank you very much, and uh, functions of the body technique. Also, also. Thank you, sir. I appreciate. You have a wonderful night rest, and bye for now, man. You too, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Yes, bye. Sir.